Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. <laughs> well, I finally saw it, everybody. It took long enough, but <clears throat> last night, Dad and I went to the cinema, and we saw Hugo. And it is totally, totally worth it. It is enchanting, it's exciting, it's adventurous, it is mysterious and um, philosophical and it's also very nostalgic because you've got uh, well you meet uh, a character that you later discover is George Méliès who um, was the pioneer of cinematography and his uh, most famous or notable work of uh, cinematography was Voyage to the Moon and that's the one where the the rocket is shot up and it hits the moon in the eye and the moon ugh, sticks its tongue out and um, then you see the people coming out of the uh, the rocket and seeing the earth rise from the moon and it's, it's just so charming this this film and the cinematography itself in the movie is just absolutely breathtaking. It's it's spellbinding. There is something so magical about this movie. I I loved uh, the backdrops of the Eiffel Tower and the Champs Elysees, and you see the the Arc de Triomphe, and um, it makes me want to go that <laughs> there that much worse. And I think. Ah! <laughs> It's just glorious. I have to go there. But, um, and of course, in snow, it's even more romantic than usual. And it's just beautiful. Everything about this, this film is a work of art. Um, Hugo's living establishment within the, the clock, the, the cogs, and the workings and wheels of uh, the... The, the clock and then the station it's just so intricate and meticulous in the way that it's done and it's uh, allegorical in a way and you you learn that Hugo is an altruistic character who is trying to fix everything else and also in search of why his father left him with uh, a wind-up automaton and there's a keyhole that's in the back of this automaton and Hugo has been stealing uh, bits and pieces to help this automaton work and so far he has been unable to he's been able to make the gears shift and, and click and everything moves into place but still the, the one thing missing is the key and um, later on he discovers a young girl by the name of Isabel who is uh, quite well read but she's never been to a movie so because her father's very very strict about that I mean her grandpapa he's very strict about that and then you, l you realize why later on I'm not gonna say what what the reason for that is but each character is very uh, multi-dimensional and just it is just one of the most splendid movies I've seen in a long time and you get so involved in it and it's transfixing it truly is and I was dazzled from start to finish especially with the music and the costumes and uh, of course the the angles of the camera when you see uh, Hugo moving through the clock itself in the in the station and and he slides down the slide and just the way everything's set up is just so incredible this is truly a tremendous movie and I also thought it was very spiritual it's a uh, heart heartwarming it's got mystery action adventure <laughs> romance and all of the stories are interlocked even with the the station inspector who is played by one of my favorite people Sasha Barico and he looks really good in that uniform 
I kept thinking, who oh, will be still my heart? But, um, <laughs> he's just such a sweet character, yet he's so mechanical. And the reason being is because he was hurt during the Great War, which is World War One to us uh, co uh, colonials over here. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of tragic and comedic in a way that he has to oil up that uh, that mechanical joint because he doesn't really run that well with it. Maximilian, his Doberman, he outruns him. <laughs> Maximilian actually provides a lot of comedic relief as he does too. He, he's a comedic character and he, he steals the show in a lot of, of the scenes and he's just terrific and he actually turns out to be a, a kind-hearted uh, person who is looking out for the um, the well-being of others and it's a uh, it's just a very interesting uh, dynamic that you see between um, him and the orphans that run the station and uh, they have to steal in order to live and there is actually a reference made to Les, Mis Les Miserables uh, actually, Isabel talks about that when she sees Hugo's um, covert lair, as <laughs> she says. And of course, Hugo really doesn't understand what he's uh, what she's talking about at that point. But that uh, he he actually picks up on this. He's he's a very intelligent character himself, so he is a quick study, and um, he learns from her, and she learns from him, and all the characters learn from each other and it's all about discovery it's about discovery and purpose and I know that sounds like a very uh, profound uh, crux of the film itself but it's it's uh, all about purpose and um, it's just such a a lovely film and I, I just adored every minute of it and I was also very overclumped by by a few scenes I'm not gonna say what they are because if I do it'll ruin the whole plot of the movie but I really feel that Scorsese this this is a masterpiece I know it's for children but everything was just so magnificently done that I I overlooked that and I, I just think that Scorsese is a genius and uh, Ben Kingsley he played George and oh he was just he was spectacular he was phenomenal and of course the the kid that played Hugo was he was great and the the little girl who played Isabel she was great she was just such a loving lovable character and so loving in their innocence and their curiosity was uh, just uh, tremendously done uh, I also feel that Sasha's character was uh, <laughs> really funny and I adored him uh, he has a, a story arc of his own and you learn more about his character and why he is the way he is. All the characters have different uh, uh, arcs and uh, it's just such a nostalgic feeling and they, they brought back the, that uh, the mood of uh, classic films of, of the 20s in and, and France and I just couldn't get enough of it. I, did, I never wanted it to end. It was just tremendous. And it has a happy ending too. And I got the soundtrack because uh, I loved all of the all of the songs that were being played and, and uh, the, the song at the very end. It was just so so gorgeous that I thought I have to have this soundtrack. I must own it now. But I, I got it off of eBay. So I'm, I'm happy. Um... If you're a fan of Scorsese, I would definitely see it. Oh, and a little bit of a uh, trivia here, but I didn't know this until they showed the the credits. But uh, Johnny Depp was actually uh, executive producer of this film, and I can see why he would be because it's very unusual and very unique. It's refreshing and innovative and creative. Uh, I personally think that it is a steampunk version of. The Secret Garden, which is um, oddly enough a French story, which is one of my favorite tales of all time. But it has the same theme running throughout it. The whole idea of um, miracles and purpose and 
um, helping others and uh, encouraging them, motivating them, and uh, just love. You get to see the power of love as well, and uh, how we interact with one another and how we influence each other, and that we are all interconnected. And it's it's just truly. Um, charming I think and it's a five star film as, as far as I'm concerned and I would see it again in a heartbeat just because I loved it so much and it's uh, there really isn't a, a lot of dull moments and I know it's also available in 3D but I just don't see the point because it, it is a work of art but you don't have to really put 3D um, technology because um, there are a few scenes that you know give it that illusion and you feel like you're a part of it and it truly is a a splendid family film anybody can enjoy it and it just there's so much to be taken in and the uh, the morals and the values that are presented are are just I think where a lot a lot of children should be exposed to and I certainly give it my stamp of approval and I think it is très 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 magnifique and I just love it. I endorse it with every fiber of my being. <laughs> every particle, every atom, every um, neutrino that is me. <laughs> Loved it! <laughs> and basically that's all I have to say about Hugo. Go see it!